Um, so basically what happened is I left Metalworks. I ended up working with Hayden Neal from Jack Soul. Uh, I did a record with them and things went really well. He ended up wanting me to do his next record. And at the time he was just like, well, you know, why don't we build a studio and we can kind of become a production team and, and, you know, you can help do my records and also we can bring in some new talent. And at the time Hayden was signed to BMG, which eventually merged with Sony. And Lisa Zbitnu, who was uh, the president at the time of BMG, who ended up, you know, uh, heading Sony BMG when they merged, uh, was got wind of what we were thinking of doing. And they were like, well, you know, we'd like to actually build an in-house facility. So why don't we team up? So, um, so what ended up happening is I didn't per se go in and build the studio. Uh, I was more of the project lead. Hmm. So, so basically I had experience. I mean, I'd been around Metalworks for a, you know several years at that point i was around when studio six was built at metalworks uh so i saw you know how some of the stuff was done the what not to do's the what to do's um obviously made some connections through dealing with the you know the designers and whatever else um and also i mean martin pilchner who's one of the top designers in the country um was also one of my teachers at harris back in the day so i had that contact as well so what i ended up doing is i just put everybody together um, so I, I ended up getting Martin to come in. He designed the room. He built the room around it uh, based on the specifications that Hayden, myself, and Sony wanted. Um, and then um, they basically gave me a budget and said, what gear do you want in here? So we went in and I basically you know, went in and cherry picked all the gear that I thought would fit the room really well, uh, researched the console, ended up getting the console brought over, um, hired the tech and helped the tech commission the room. So that's where I really was more hands-on, was helping with all the wiring and getting the room together. All the acoustics and that was, was Martin's gig. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so, and then Sony merged over and then all of the Sony gear showed up on top of our gear. So it was just like a playground. It was just insane how much gear was in that room. That's awesome. So um, Hayden of Jack Soul passed away uh, a few years ago at a young age. W what can you say, having known him personally, uh, what can you say about him as a person? People know him for, you know, his amazing music. I believe some of the projects won some Junos. They, you know, yeah. Yeah, had too. a ton of success, but, uh, uh, but the person himself, sometimes, you know, musicians, they have a stage persona, like your Danko Jones or your whoever's um what was he like actually knowing him hayden's as real as it gets to be honest with you i mean he was probably the most genuine person i've ever met in this industry um we became good friends um just a super super nice guy all around i mean you know a wonderful husband father um you know i mean he's obviously very very missed um incredibly talented guy like he's all the vocal chops that i learned in terms of production came from him and I, although I apply it to different genres, he's the type of guy that could sit in front of a mic and throw you a million different versions of the same line. And they were all equally good. Um, and then just stack it with like, you know, four or five parts of harmony. And you just be like, oh my God, where'd this all come from? And he just hammer it in one shot. So, I mean, very, very talented guy and super down to earth. You know, I mean, he wasn't the type of guy who would, would blow someone off just because he didn't know them quite the opposite. You know, he, he was someone that would take the time to sit down and actually ask you questions about not just your professional life, but your personal life and, and show genuine, genuine interest.